I'd like to start by posing a question, and that's if I asked you how you might think about improving your profitability, would you automatically just start uh, looking at an increase in sales and the extra investment you might need for that in marketing or people, or maybe haggling with suppliers to reduce uh, your cost of sales? Because they're not the only two ways to go about this. One of the other ways you might be surprised to learn lies here, which is in the vehicles your people use to go about their business. Because most businesses don't really understand how much those can cost your business. And those additional unnecessary costs can really destroy your profits. So where do these hidden costs fall? Typically in two areas. The first is in damage to the vehicles that your drivers cause, and the second is in sort of vehicle running overhead, such as maintenance and fleet insurance. Now, damage might be uh, more uh, common than you would think. Uh, the Institute of Advanced Motorists have a fleet training team, and they serviced their, surveyed their corporate clients and found out that 86% of those fleets had had a collision, costing that business money in the last 12 months. The AA have a similar fleet training uh, team and they serviced their, uh, surveyed their clients and found that two-thirds of them expected, uh, sorry, they expected two-thirds of all company vehicles to sustain some kind of damage in the next 12 months and half of those are expected to uh, cause serious disruption and cost to the business by being off-road for a period of time while they're fixed. So that costs the, the business a uh, serious amount of money. Now we can also quantify the cost to the business of poor driving on the maintenance front. So if we take the cost to the business uh, in X pounds of a good driver, typically a poor driver or a poorly managed driver will, could use up to half as much fuel again. They'll go through twice as many tires. They'll cost you the business three times as much in routine servicing and maintenance because of the extra wear and tear. And a poorly managed fleet could cost you up to five times the cost of a, uh, a well-managed fleet per vehicle. And that's because poor drivers are three times more likely to have a crash and cause damage. And the cost of that damage is three and a half times what it would be for a good driver. So a poor driver will cost your business ten times in damage what a good driver will cost you. And even if they're using their own cars, typically on a business mileage claim, for every hundred pounds you pay out, twenty. 20 pounds of that will have been overclaimed. So how do you start to uh, manage and minimise those costs? There are four things that you really need to be looking at, which are the law, health and safety law requires you to do this as a director. First thing is you need to understand your responsibilities for managing drivers and vehicles. You need to do a risk assessment. It's the law that you do a risk assessment of all your business activities and that includes driving for work. You should have a policy and probably a handbook as well to explain the standards you expect of all your drivers. And you need to measure and monitor so that you can track where these costs are and track whether any activities that you've put in place minimise them. Because if you're not measuring it and monitoring it, you aren't managing it at all. When you do start to manage it, you can start to see some significant financial benefits. So I'm just going to show you three quick case studies from the Highways England Driving for Better Business campaign, which I manage. The first one is construction firm Amy, who manage all this well. They saw 38% reduction in collisions in 12 months. That saves them millions of pounds a year. Data management firm Iron Mountain reduced their maintenance bills by 70%, uh, and sorry, their repair costs by 70% and their maintenance bills by 30%. And at the smaller end, Hills, which only has just over 60 cars, reduced their fleet insurance by 26%. That equates, I would hazard a guess, at between 30 and 40,000 pounds a year, every year, straight onto their bottom line. So the takeaway message from that is that whatever size business you've got, better management of your drivers and vehicles can help you improve your profitability without having to sell any more stuff. <laughs>